Hello, welcome back to the channel and today we will explore a marketplace app Handy Macros for Confluence. This app allows us to create the interactive Confluence pages with ease and improve status tracking. It offers a variety of macros like Handy Page Status, Handy Status, Handy Date, Handy Timestamps and many more. With the help of Handy Page Status, you can assign a status to your Confluence page and then you can search your Confluence pages with the help of that status and other search term. That's great, isn't it? I really like the Handy Status because with the help of this Handy Status macro, you can insert the status in your Confluence pages from a multiple status sets and then you can switch among these statuses in a few only more. There are many interesting macros that we can use. Let's dive deeper into the app. It's my Confluence Cloud and the installation process of this app is straightforward. You will go into the app section and then you will go into find new apps. Here you can search handy macros and then hit the enter. You will see this app. You will click here and then you can add this in your instance. Right now it's already added. You can see, but this is a simple straightforward to installing this app. Now we'll come back here in our Confluence space. I'm using my testing lab space here. After installing the app, you will go in the app section and here you will see the handy macros. You will click on this. We have the two tabs here, explore macros and the manage handy status. In the explore macros, you will see the macros name provided by this handy macros for confluence app we have handy status handy page status date cards poll timestamps and slider and handy button also there is another tab which is manage handy status this is the place where you will create your status sets this is important to create the status sets before using the handy status macro. Here we have approximately six to seven sets here. You can create your status set. You can click here and then enter the name. This is my marketing status set and then click here. So this, this is the set and under this marketing status set, so you can create multiple status lead approved and then I can choose the background color here and the text color. This is the preview. If you want to write the description, you can write the description here. This is my lead task, something like that. And if you want to delete it, you can do it. You can come to the uh, developer task status. Here we have, you can see in the developer task status, we have the approximately five statuses. The background color and the text color is here and the preview is here. If you want to add the more status, you can simply click and then add your own status here. Now we'll go back to our space. I will click here and then I will click on my testing lab. And here I will show you how you can use a handy date, handy status and handy timestamp inside your Confluence pages. This is my page property page. I have given the name page properties because I am using a page property macro here. Let me add it. What I'm doing here, I am using a table inside the page property macro. You can see these are my key and I'm going to put the values here with the help of handy macros. I will put a date with the help of handy date, handy date, enter. And this is where you can choose the date. Let me choose 26. And here you can enable the macro coloring here. You can see the color is this. If you will disable, then it will look like this. If you will enable, then it will look like this. And you can insert here. And in the updated, I want to use the handy timestamp and here you can choose a timestamp value, page published, last updated and the timestamp added. But I want to make it last page updated here. This, this is the format. They are the other formats are also available, but I want to use this one and then insert. Here in the priority, I'm going to use the handy status. And in the handy status, I am going to choose the requirement priority here. Should have synchronized the page label with the status. This is the option. If you will enable this, then 
this particular status will become the label of the page so i'm gonna make it enable and this is the status description if you want to show the status description then you can enable it and when you will click on this manage statuses it will lend you exactly the same pages where we are managing the status ads here you can see this particular link will land here where you can manage your status ads okay if you want to give the prefix to the label you can write it here and then insert this is how we use the handy status to put the value and then we can use the same with the status right now i'm using a handy status you can see the value is idea if i'll go here and i will add it this then i can choose the sets here right now i'm using a developer task status and this status is idea if you want to change it idea to the plan you can do it you can make it enable description and then save this is the way we will use a handy date handy timestamps and the handy status now i'm gonna update this and when you will own a view only more then you can change the date here you can simply click let's say i want to make it 29 july this is how i can change uh, you cannot change the timestamp but you can change the status here you can simply go and here you can see i have a drop down of the statuses right now it's a should have if i want to make it could have won't have and then must have i can do it and there is the status history where you can check the history of the status when and which user changed the status now when you will come inside the page property report then here you will find the information about the page property table i'm using a page property report macro here if you want to change the the sequences of the column let's you want the priority should come first and then update it create it and then status you can simply go here and click on more option here you will find the space where you can write down the sequence of your column but here you can see the comma separated list of columns to include in the table page title is always be shown but i want here to hide the page title how i will do it let me tell you how so i'm using a, another app and this app is also provided with the same vendor still soft table filter charts and the spreadsheet for conference now we'll come here and then you will click you will find the option hide columns and then you can click on the title this is the cool way to hiding the title and right now i'm gonna close it if you are using the table filter charts and spreadsheet app first time then you have to go to this icon click here and you will find a option of the table filtration here click on the table filter and after that you will see these icons the filter icons in your table you can go and you can filter it like this so this is also a cool app and you can use the table filter charts and spreadsheet app with the handy macros for confluence it will a good combination now we'll check how we can use the handy page status macro when you will come on the another confluence page you will see the under review status is there on the top we are able to do it with the help of handy page status macro you can see the handy page status macro is there where you will see all the status sets that you have created you can create as many as you want according to your need and here are the status if you want to create a new status set you can simply click here and create your own and there is also a status history where you can check the status history if you want to delete it then you can simply click here on the delete icon and it will delete it i have provided the different different statuses to my pages if i'll come here in the about us page then here you can see i have provided the draft status because this page is in the draft status as of now if you want to change the status from draft to any other then you can go and do it let's let me make it to the under review and then you can save it but right now i am canceling it because it is under draft if you'll go on the another page then i have mentioned the page status for this confluence page this is under review when you will provided all the statuses to your confluence page then you can come here this is a page status report and this is the 
great feature which is providing by this app here you can filter your pages on the basis of space you can select your space and then you can select your set document status and then i want to see the pages who have the status drop i can select the author and last updated after here and then i can hit the search button here i have the three pages about us page properties report and the page property who have the status draft if you want to see draft and the under review then you can search your pages like this this is how we can filter or we can search our pages on the basis of status and any other search criteria we can get this report with the help of handy page status macro if you don't want to show the page status report here you will see this edit pencil you can go and disable it save and now it's gone if you want to make it enable you can go and do it we can create a dashboard here in your confluence space with the help of these macros and it will make your status tracking far better here i have created a dashboard page when you will click here here you will find these four tables and this will help me in the status tracking how you will design the dashboard let me show you when you will click on add it actually what i am doing here i am just using the page properties report putting the label according to my needs when i will go here and then i will click on add it then i am putting the labels like page properties and about us because i want to see the information about my pages here i'm gonna cancel it and i'm using the table filter which is coming from the table filter charts and spreadsheet for my better table filterization and here this is the project information where i want to keep track on about my project information here i have the project title project name created due date timestamp and the statuses here is the information about my approval project and these are the blocker now i'm gonna close it and this is how my dashboard will look like this will make your status tracking easy because you can see all the information at one place you can design your dashboard according to your need but this is just a demo how you can show the information and how you can use the handy macros in your information like i'm using the handy status for the priority statuses handy timestamp handy date and it is very easy for me if someone will update the information on the other pages i can track all the information here on a single page i would recommend you to use these macros in your confluence pages because with the help of these macros you can make your status tracking easier you can use a handy page status to assign a status to your confluence page you can categorize them and you can search them with the help of the status report thank you for watching this video have a great day